If you have a different kind of solar latitude, you could actually bend and move this to orient the solar panel to the sun. So it's kind Sheila of Kennedy is an architect and visiting professor at Berkeley. She's launched what she calls the Here There Project, a collaboration with students to demonstrate that design over there in the developing world is just as important as design here at home. And their idea was to create a light that was a street light that was completely portable and that could be folded up out of a super ordinary, super affordable material, in their case, cardboard. So what you see over here, this is, um, this is the same uh, light that you see, minus the battery, which you would carry in your hand. Um, so it's uh, extremely light, extremely flat, um, sort of a flat to form solar street light. Um, and this will be debuted this summer in India, we hope. This could actually be on a street in India. It's, it's going to be in the real world very soon, um, but it might not be lighting a street. You have to appreciate that the darkest areas in the periphery of the city are alleys. They're very steep staircases. They're places where, where, spa where space is kind of tight. So the idea that an entrepreneur could go to the internet, get instructions about how to make this thing, make it in a very simple manner with just a knife, a mat knife, or in a more sophisticated manner with a, with a laser cutter, if they have access to that tool, and then uh, fabricate it and also be able to modify the form. Um, let's say that they want a more diffuse light uh, for, for weddings, which is very, very popular night lighting in, in India, yeah. or for cricket games or whatever it might be. So the ability to not only make a piece of infrastructure, but to modify it to suit their needs. What would something like this cost? What we're doing is we're taking all of the cost out of the design and structure by having people make it themselves and using affordable materials. So that leaves the LED, which is very inexpensive, and the solar panels, which might be about $40.